The purple pamphlet of the Johns Committee, the Johns Committee has been, had been doing this so-called investigation for a number of years, basically, you know, finding homosexuals, interrogating them, getting all this information, taking names down and so on. And much of it was done quietly. That is, much of it didn't, you know, much of it didn't receive a lot of public notice. Uh, this was all part of, you know, eventually of an attempt to basically, uh, by Charlie Johns, to say that Florida needed to rewrite its laws on homosexuality to make them more uh, strict, to make them, to make them, to make them uh, enable the state to put a homosexual in jail just for being a homosexual. All right. And so he was try so he felt that he had to convince the public just of the dangers and the, the horror of homosexuality. And so in, you know, he came out with a purple pamphlet, okay, which was a very sexually explicit, you know, a publication paid before by taxpayers. You know, it had pictures of men having sex, although the things were blacked out, it had a glossary of, of homosexual, you know, slang words. I mean, um, and uh, the idea was is that once this was out, people would be so shocked that it, they, of course, would support his effort to pass, you know, a, a, a far more strict gay, you know, uh, homose law on homosexuality. Well, when it came out, of course, it had the opposite effect. Uh, people saw it as obscene, and the fact that it was paid for by taxpayers' money, you know, was considered to be outrageous. In fact, in Dade County, the state's attorney declared it an obscene piece of material, and it couldn't be shown in public or, or, or circulated. 